Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play for Space Engineers. Uh, this is going to be Season 1, Episode 1. And um, for those of you who are wondering what Space Engineers is, well, think about, like, Minecraft in space, kind of. Uh, there's, I don't think there's enemies yet, but, um, yeah, you basically start off in space, and you have a little jetpack, and you can fly around, and you have to mine resources and build, you know, build ships and build a space base and all kinds of crazy stuff. It's really... Really awesome game. Let's get started. Gonna go with a new world. Let's go a custom world. Now there's easy start one, easy start two, lone survivor, crashed ship, two platforms, asteroids, and empty world. I'm not sure what these mean. Let's look at this asteroid one. Start in a rescue ship with very limited resources near small near a small asteroid field. Two platforms, com competitive two team multiplayer world. Okay. Crashed Red Ship, okay. Um, I watched a Let's Play of someone, and he did this Asteroid one, and, and it looked a lot of fun. So let's do the Asteroid one. And we will name this... Actually, wait, can I change the name? I don't know, maybe I can't. Maybe I shouldn't change the name. Uh, yeah. Asteroid and Description Season 1. All right, you have Creative or Survival. We're obviously going to go Survival. They have three different... Uh, Three different settings for inventory size, assembler efficiency, and refinery efficiency. Um, refinery and assembler efficiency, we will put it plus three. Inventory size, I'm thinking plus or times ten. Now, realistic means you're just basically going to be doing a lot more down, like a lot more grunt work, like boring work, like going back and forth bringing some stuff over here, bringing some stuff over there. Um, the assembler and the refinery speed doesn't have to be times 10. I don't mind waiting a little bit for that stuff, but I need the extra inventory space. It's just, it's just, especially for a let's play, like having that limited inventory space kind of sucks. Um, we're going to be in offline mode. So none of this matters. Um, auto healing, auto healing pl uh, heals players during the period of not receiving injuries. So I'll turn that, I'll eh, leave it on whatever. Auto save off. Auto save is really annoying. When the game saves, your, your game like pauses. It's really irritating. Um, and thruster damage. Now, your thrusters can deal damage to blocks and objects. And it's really kind of annoying. And it doesn't add too much to the game. Like, basically, if you have like a landing platform, uh, anytime you take off, it'll do damage to it. Um, there might be certain landing platforms that don't take damage. I'm not really sure. If anyone has any information about this game, please let me know. But for now, I'm just going to turn that off. All right, so let's go ahead and press OK and get our world. Now, we're going to start off in like a ship. Uh, your ship has all kinds of little gadgets and stuff in it to help you, you know, live. Uh, you don't ever come out of your spacesuit, so you never have to worry about like uh, pressure doors or anything. But, um, you know, it, it'll have like a refinery. It'll have an assembler. Refinery takes materials that you mine, iron, for, for example, and it refines it into iron ore. You know, uh, iron ingots, I should say. It gives you something, it refines it into something you can use to craft. The assembler is basically your crafting table. You tell it what to craft, it automatically crafts it for you. Uh, what else? There's a gravity, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Gravity field generator, a gravity generator or something. There's a, uh, a fuel source. I forget what that one's called. The fuel source is called a, um, I can't remember. Well, I'll show you the ship when I get to it. A uh, lot of cool stuff. The gravity generator is really cool. It makes everything in its in its vicinity uh, have gravity. All right, so here we are. We're on our ship, and um, if you look on the right hand side down there, you can see uh, the mass, the speed, power usage, reactors. Uh, I'm not really sure what that means. Thrusters, damper, dampeners. Dampeners means dampeners will kind of even you out. Like if you go forward, your dampeners will. If you take your your foot off the throttle, your dampeners will compensate and slow you down and bring you to a stop. Uh, it's really useful when you're like kind of maneuvering, but not so good when you're trying to go from place to place because it just makes it take longer uh, or more fuel to get from place to place. And uh, we got gyroscope, we got fuel time, we have two days, that's because we're at rest. If we uh, start to move a little bit, that two days will go down. I'm trying to look for that asteroid I saw. There we go. We're going to go for that asteroid. If we start... If we start going, you can see our fuel time is five minutes, okay? Um, and then we have landing gear in, in proximity. Left-hand side is my health, my jetpack, if it's on or off, my dampeners, my lights, 
my mass, my speed, my energy, and my volume, how much I can hold. Um, here's my inventory screen, uh, control panel, production. We'll get into this later. And I can come out of my little thing right here, and uh, here I am on my ship. Uh, I think my jetpack's on. I'm going to turn my jetpack off, and here we go. So right here, we have a gra my gravity generator. And if you press K, you can go into the gravi gravity generator, and it gives you um, a vicinity on all its gravity. We're going to leave it where it is for now. Um, and it has all kinds of like little things here. It's gyroscope, it's, it's lights, uh, all kinds of stuff. We're not going to really mess around with that right now. Uh, right here is uh, my medical room. And if you look right on the bottom left-hand side of the screen, you can see on the bottom, like right above volume, is energy. That is my life support system, my suit I'm wearing. And uh, just living in it takes energy. Uh, it's producing oxygen for me. And, um, you know, it's keeping me alive. Uh, if I use my jetpack to fly around, the energy will go down quicker. And you just come over here to your medical room, and you hold down T, and that fills it back up. Uh, right here we have our nuclear reactor, and in our nuclear reactor we have uranium ingots. We do not have a lot in there. Uh, we got to keep that in mind. Right here we have our refinery. This is how we can craft stuff. Right now this stuff's all in red because we can't craft it. If you take one item and you try and craft it, it says I need iron ingots. I don't have them. And if you come up here, we have a cargo container to hold uh, extra stuff. And we have our assembler. And this is, um, wait, assembler? Refinery. Okay, so this is the refinery. This is where we put our stuff. The assembler is up top. But can you actually order? Can I order stuff through here? I guess I can. These two are connected. So I, I guess I don't ever have to come up here to the assembler. Technically, the assembler is where stuff is, is produced. But... Uh, let me look around. That's the door that goes outside, and I think that's the whole ship, actually. Um, yeah, the ship is a little beat up, but, you know, we're not going to worry about that right now. Let's get back in our in our ship, and we're going to head right in front of me to that asteroid that's in front of me. I forget how to turn off my dampeners. Let me look that up, because I need to know how to turn off my dampeners. I'll be right back. Okay, and in order to turn the dampeners on and off, we just press Z. So we're just going to start flying forward. We're going to press Z to turn off our dampeners. And now we can let go of our throttle and just keep maintain our speed. You see my speed right now is 13, I guess, meters a second. We're going to get that up to around 25 meters per second. And in space, if you are going in one direction, you will continue going until you're, you something stops you or alters your course. Uh, so that's what we're doing right now. We're just going forward and we're not using... We're not using energy. We're not using fuel to do it. If we turn on our dampeners, they're going to automatically slow us down. That's what they do. Um, this asteroid looks like it might be a pretty good place to build on. Um, I'm going to look around in it. I'm wondering if I should go on top or or down into it. Let me see. Let's get a little more speed here. All right, so we're going to turn on our dampeners now, and that's going to automatically bring us into a better position. Uh, it's slowing us down, but that's okay, because now we need to maneuver. This ship is pretty big. The bigger the ships get, the harder they are to maneuver. Um, and I can already see, I think that's iron ore. Uh, I'm not quite sure I should build. I should probably just build right on top. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking for a good place to build my base. I, honestly, I shouldn't be looking for anything. I should park this thing because I need to find some uh, I need to find some uranium, like ASAP. Uh, I just don't know what uranium really looks like. So, yeah. This will probably get, be a good spot. Alright. And we're at zero speed, so our ship will not move. Let's go outside and see what's going on. We'll turn on our jetpack, open the door. Open the door. Oops, how do I open the door? There we go. Jetpack's on. All right, first thing we're going to do is save the game. Uh, hold down shift and F5 is a quick save. And we are saving it. That way, in case I die, I don't lose everything. Although, I don't know what I would really lose. When you die, you lose everything in your inventory. So, that's kind of a problem. But, <laughs> you don't want to die. Alright. Alright, so here we are. We now have no gravity. You can see bottom right-hand side, we have no gravity uh, where we are. And we do start with what we need to 
dig. We got a um, a hand drill right here, and I need to put that in my on my player character, but I forget how to do it. Um, crap. Well, that's inventory. How about C? Yeah, I gotta figure out how to do this. I'll be right back. Okay. And the button we're looking for is G. That brings up our toolbar config. It shows us everything we can craft, and it shows us what's on our toolbar. And with this, I can bring down the hand drill. It's a little unwieldy, but uh, I don't know how to drag stuff. Okay, we could right-click to get stuff out of there. Okay. So let's, uh, let's come on over here and see what we got down here. This might be uranium, hopefully. Let's see. Take out a drill. Actually, there is one other thing I want to do before I go any farther. Um, I'm going to come into my ship, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the gravity uh, the gravity thingy-mabob. Um, that should give the asteroid gravity. Uh, you'll see how it works. Here, check this out. All right, gravity generator. I'm going to turn the width, the height, the depth, and the accelerate. Well, the acceleration's all up, but we're going to turn everything up to 150 meters, 135, 150 meters all around. So hopefully when I get down on that asteroid, um, it will, uh, when I mine stuff, it won't float off into space. Because otherwise without the gravity, uh, everything I mine would float off into space. Let's see if we have, we do have gravity down here. So it's X and there we go. All right, pretty sweet. And it's a little bit hard to run around down here now, but let's see what we got here. Okay, that's nickel. So we don't need nickel. Um... Did we actually mine some? I don't know. Let's see what... This is iron, I think. Oh, it's actually telling me what it is. Oh, that's right. When you have your drill out, it actually tells you what things are. Okay, well, that's going to make things a lot easier. Although, I still don't see any uranium. Alright, I don't see any uranium, though. Uh, what do we got over here? That looks like gold. Why isn't it showing up? Why isn't this showing up? Whoops. There we go. Something's showing up. There we go. We got some uranium. Now, this looks like I might fall to my death. I'm not sure where the gravity is. So let's see. Let's see where these blocks fall. Yep, they're all falling down there. That's not good. I'm not quite sure how the gravity works yet, but that's okay. I can... I've got to pick this stuff up. Um, I wonder if I could bring my ship over here and make the gravity the way I want it to be. Let's see. Let's try and do that. Because right now, I'm not quite sure. Hmm, this is where it is, right? Is that the uranium? Yeah, that's the uranium. So I want the gravity to be pointing down that way. So let's see if we can, let's see if we can work that out. Like, a lot of this stuff is, um is new to me obviously so let's get back up to our ship all right and you can see why this game's so awesome uh <coughs> let me tell you something you ain't seen nothing yet it really like does a number on your head though when like you start spinning around and you think you're looking up and then it's like well there's no up you don't need to close your door but i like to close my door just because i don't know why um all right so where was that that was in there yeah, I think it was in there. So let's just come down here. And I think if we park directly over it like this, the gravity should be going straight down. That's what I'm hoping. Let's see. All right. Let's uh, jetpack on. Let's get out of here. And there we go. And now let's see where the gravity takes us. Yep, perfect. Oh, this is perfect. So now all the uranium is going to fall down in that little crater and just wait there for me to go pick it up. This is Yeah, this is a nice find. This is exactly what I needed. And you can see right here while I'm using my jackhammer, um, it will use up energy from my suit quicker, obviously. So, yeah. Oh, this is iron, actually. Well, that's okay. We can use iron, too. There it all is. Look at it. I thought that was uranium. We'll find the uranium. Believe me, we're going to need iron. 
I just keep having to pick this stuff up. What I need to do is there's, um, there's like a drilling machine you can make, uh, like a drill ship, and uh, that's going to be one of my first things I do. Actually, I'll probably even do that before I make my base, because, uh, like, this, picking this stuff up sucks. When you make the drill thing, the, uh, the drill automatically picks most of it up. What's that? Stone. I don't know what stone's used for. I think you can make stone in the gravel, but, uh... I don't know what it's actually used for. Isn't where's the uranium? It's iron. Where was that uranium? I I get turned around in here. It's uranium. That's iron, right? I'm not sure where that uranium is. I'm gonna have to find it. Yeah, it's all iron. All right, well, let's see if we can find that uranium. I thought it was in here. Oh, it was in here, wasn't it? Well, you know what? I still might have... I still might have gravity here. Let's see. Yep, we're good. Love that ship. Wait, is that iron, or...? I thought this was uranium. I don't know. I'm getting turned around. There's uranium. Maybe. I'm not sure. We'll just mine a bunch of this stuff. We're going to need everything anyway. Alright, let's see what this stuff is. There we go, uranium. It's really weird picking stuff up with T. By the way, I have lights, right? Let me see how I turn my lights on. Controls. System. Lights on, off is L. Okay. Oh, much better. So yeah, don't you think that picking stuff up with tea is a little weird? Like, everything I've ever... What is that? Oh, more uranium? Cool. Everything I've ever picked stuff up with has always been, um... Has always been U. Or E, I mean, sorry. And, uh, picking stuff up with tea is, is taking a lot of getting used to. Alright, I'm just gonna pick up the uranium and get back to my ship. Okay, that's most of it. Okay, all right, that worked out pretty well. Let's get up there and refine it. Now what we have right now is uh, is just uh, you know uranium ore. We need to turn it into something the ship can use. Not ingots, I guess. But by the way, there's absolutely no reason to close that door, and I don't care. I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, so we got the refinery here, so let's go ahead and drop the uranium ore in the refinery. And put it all in there. What? What? There we go. There we go. And we'll put the iron in there as well, and the stone. And once you come out, it starts uh, refining it. And um, sometimes it shows it refining it when, you're, when you don't have the... Uh, Sometimes it shows refining it. Like, normally it would show it refining it, even though the window's open. But uh, it seems a little buggy. Uh, it seems like you have to, like, leave the window for the re for the refinery to work. Same thing with the assembler. Uh, it was working like that on my test world when I first started playing this game. And I would say about six hours into the world, it started showing it refining it. So I'm not really sure what the deal is with that. But uh, the game, I think the game's in, like, alpha. So I probably should have mentioned that earlier. But All right, so... What we're going to need to do now is we are going to make a beeline for uh, G. We're going to make a beeline for this thing right here, the, the small ship. Uh, we need to start a new small ship. So let's uh, go outside and start that. And T. I don't know where I'm supposed to where, I, where I'm supposed to start this ship, but uh, we can just start it in this crater. Screw it. It looks flat enough. And yes, yes, you can take falling damage. Okay, so we're going to start a new small ship, and it gives you a landing gear. And there's supposed to be help things to show you how to landing gear, how you can like turn the landing gear and stuff. But I don't know; it doesn't seem to show up for me right now. I don't know why. Um, maybe I should like look into that. Yeah, let me see if I can find that. I'll be right back. Okay, so right here, um, I went to game, and then game options. Uh, show rotation hints. 
So now when I start a new small ship, there we go. So you can see right there, delete and page down. Um, delete and page down goes like this. Um, there we go. Uh, what else? Delete and page down, home and end. And what are the what are the other ones? Insert and page up. Okay, I see. All right. So we'll put that right. Like I want I want this to be as flush to the floor as possible. That's good. You need a construction component to build the landing gear. Okay, so we need stuff to build this landing gear. So let's uh let's get back to our ship. All right. Now we're going to put the assembler to work. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you guys like this game, but this game is awesome. I love this game. Really, really love it. Uh, so, yeah. With that being said, let me get to the assembler. And uh, we need, what did we say, construction components? I'm pretty sure that's what we said. Um, so we're going to need some construction components. Let's go ahead and make uh, 20 of those. And we need iron ingots. And it's refining the... Uh, the uranium ore, so the iron ore hasn't been refined yet. So let's just switch that out. And uh, now we're going to start the iron ore. Um, the assembler should have... There we go. We got some uranium ingots. So let's go ahead and put those in our... Actually, we can come on the ship here. This ship will run for another six minutes without fuel. So, oh my god, we got that done just in time. Um, nuclear reactor. Put it all in there. Alright, so now we have... One kilogram of, I'm guessing kg is kilogram, of uh, uranium ingots. So let's see how long it'll run now. Now it'll run for 54 minutes. Hmm, I still need a lot more uranium. <laughs> All right. Uh, don't forget, everything on this ship is, is taking uh, energy. Let's, let's take a look. Um, actually, there should be a way to look. I don't remember how to look, though. Uh, I don't remember how to look. There should be a way to see what's being used on this ship. But I don't remember how to see it. There's a way to, like, see what's being used on the ship. Uh, ooh. There we go. While you're in the ship, press K. Um, the assembler is on, and that is using power. The doors are on and open. Let's close them up. That's using power. The gravity generator is using power. The, gy the gyroscope doesn't use power, I guess. Uh, the interior lights are on using power. The refinery, the reactors, and the thrusters are all using power. Uh, I think there's a way to shut off the ship. Um, I don't think the thrusters need to be on. I just don't remember how to do it. Uh, or I never knew how to do it, actually. Small reactor, small thruster. I don't want to shut them off all individually. We'll just leave it alone, I guess. So, yeah, that's how you check what's using up everything in your ship. So the assembler now should be making me some construction components, and there they are. And we've got some more uranium ingots, so let's take those. Let's take the construction components. Um, let's go down here to the refinery. And the refinery... Okay, so all that, all that iron is already refined, so that was not a lot of iron. Um, as a matter of fact, I think we made all the construction components we could probably make. No, we still have a lot more iron. The construction components are still being made. So let's come on over here and throw the rest of the uranium in here. Because we need this ship. This ship is our lifeblood. Uh, we now have two hours worth of ship time. And that's with a lot of things running. Although I'm not flying. Alright, so let's hit our jetpack. Let's open this up. And let's get down here and see if we can build this ship now. And always so often, you can die pretty easily in this game. So every so often, I'm going to quick save. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of a big deal. By the way, a lot of you guys watching this video probably know more about this game than I do. If you have any tips, tricks, or anything, uh, you know, let me know, please, in the comments. It would be, it'd be much appreciated. All right, so we're going to go to G, new small ship. And there we go. We got a little leg thing there down. So now we drag our welder into our hot bar. And we have to build it. And you can see right there, it uh, it needs the following things over there. And I don't have any of them. Uh, so there we go. We can't make that. So whatever. Uh, let's build the next part of it. The next part is going to be light armor block. And we put that right on top. 
And I need steel plate. Okay, so we're going to need steel plate. So let's get back up to our ship. Alright. And that is my timer. So uh, we're going to call this one here. Uh, if you guys want to see more of Space Engineers, please uh, please remember to leave a like and comment and let me know and all that good stuff. Um, I love this game and I would be thrilled to play more of it. So that's going to be it for Episode 1 and we'll see you next time for Episode 2. Till then, take it easy.